Made a nice story. You fixing up that old keep? Lifting the curse? <laughs> Must have told it a hundred times. But something got to gnawing at me. Thinking the spirits there weren't really at rest. That maybe the gods weren't finished with us. I used to dream that when my god came back, he would forgive us. Last the trouble of the dreams. Sooner or later, we all have to wake up. Hi everybody, four years ago we launched our first crowdfunding campaign and together with your help, we made the fantasy role-playing game Pillars of Eternity one of the highest rated crowdfunding games of all time. We're really thankful for all your contributions along the way, not only your pledges, but your passionate feedback that shaped the game and the world. We really loved working alongside the community from the very beginning and we want to include you again in the process. It just wouldn't be the same otherwise. I'm happy to announce that the same talented and passionate team has been working on the sequel to Pillars of Eternity for over the last year. Now, every dollar pledge you're invested during the campaign is going to allow me to give the team more time and resources to make the best game possible for you. They're really excited to show you what they've been up to, so welcome to Deadfire. of Eternity 2 is our attempt to continue building on all the stuff that we did in Pillars of Eternity 1. We really wanted to focus on the things that made the Infinity Engine games great, which are exploration of beautiful environments, the real-time with pause tactical combat system, and a really rich and engrossing story that has companions that react to the choices that you make. In addition to some of the new companions that we're introducing, we're also bringing back some of our old companions from Pillars 1. One of these will be a dare. Players will get to experience how he's changed and see what his story is after the time that passes between the two games. At the beginning of Pillars of Eternity 2, you are still the Watcher of Cad Nua, uh, this figure from the first game who could see into the spirit world, and you're the lord of this castle. And uh, at the beginning of Pillars 2, the god Aethys, who is presumed to be dead, occupies the statue underneath the castle of Cad Nua, animates it, and tears his way out. It destroys the castle, it kills most of the people in the castle, and leaves you at the brink of death. It's bad enough that he winds up almost killing you, but it turns out that your life is linked to finding Aethys and figuring out what he's doing. We're also very excited about some of the choice and consequence that we'll be introducing. The story in Deadfire will change both in response to the player's actions in this game and also in response to some of the decisions that the player made in the Deerwood back in Pillars 1. Pillars 2 features a complete overhaul of not only the graphics, but many systems as well, including AI, pathfinding, and animation. Our goal is to have a living world and increase the active elements in the scenes. First, we have a new weather system that will change throughout the day. Rainstorms will pass through the areas, so cloth and trees will sway in the wind, and townspeople will react by covering their heads or even heading indoors. For the level design team, a goal for Pillars of Eternity 2 uh, is to have the world feel more alive and, and real. Uh, you'll find that villagers and commoners, they have daily routines. They'll go to work, they'll come home, uh, they'll even go to the tavern to have a drink. Secondly, we have a new AI backend that will make our NPCs and monsters smarter and tougher in combat. Encounters will be more dynamic, 
and combat scenarios more tactically challenging. Really, really excited about the new streaming system. Um, all of our interior areas will stream in with little to no loading, providing a much better play experience than the first game. We're pushing the boundaries of what the previous engine was capable of. The art team is very excited to be using new rendering techniques and technology. They'll showcase a level of detail never before seen in a game like this. We learned a lot of lessons in making the first game, and we got a lot of great feedback from our fans. We learned a lot about how to use the technology that we had been sort of developing over the course of the game. And really, we just want to leverage all that knowledge and all that passion to make an even greater experience. We have one of the most talented, amazing teams here at Obsidian that has been very eager to show you what they've been up to. We will continue with regular updates through the crowdfunding campaign with more in-depth details about gameplay, features, Deadfire lore, and new companions in Pillars of Eternity 2. During this campaign, you have the opportunity to invest and be part of the success of Deadfire. From everyone here at Obsidian, we really want to thank you for your support.